PlayStation 5 DualSense controller and Xbox Series X controller. Let's talk about that. What is up everybody? Welcome to a new video. My name is Gavin Manis and today we're going to talk about PlayStation 5 revealing the new controller DualSense. So we're going to do some comparisons between these two controllers and see what is good, what is bad. Now we start off by talking with design. Now if you see a PlayStation 5 DualSense design, well it looks quite good. It looks completely different from what traditional PlayStation controller design looks like. This is PS4 controller. This was the biggest change in the PlayStation controller design completely changed from the traditional design they were working for and now it looks like a new king has arrived but apart from that all the buttons they are in the same place in the same position everything is same if you talk about xbox series x controller well that looks identical to its previous controllers it's like they keep on bringing a new version of the same controller so you can take this controller as version 3 of xbox one controller with added new features new benefits that's all nothing more nothing less now DualSense also brought up another new thing and that is the color scheme of the controller. Because for the first time Sony has changed the color scheme from monochromatic to two colors. So on the top there is white and on the bottom there is black. It's more like the bottom version of PlayStation 4 has been cut off and been mixed with Xbox One Series X controller. It just looks like that. Also the buttons of triangle, circle, square and cross, they are basically the same color as that of the top part of the controller. So for the base model it's all white with a black outline on it. And in my opinion that actually looks much better aesthetically. And also the light bar is now on the side of the touchpad instead of being on the front. And for some people they were complaining that the front light is the reason why the battery is being drained a lot. They could be right. Now Xbox Series X controller they haven't changed at all. The color is the same monochromatic color and the YBAX button colors they are also the same. So keeping the tradition flowing. Well, the design and color are good, but the size of the controller is also important because when you're playing a game, you want to make sure that you are having a good grip on it. So for DualSense controller, according to the blog post, they have said that they have tried this controller in a variety of hands and they want the players to feel like the controller is an extension of themselves while they're playing the game and to such an extent that they will forget that they're using a controller in their hands. Apparently, Sony is now making an invisible controller. As far as Xbox Series X, well, they are now making the controller smaller because they're focused more on an average 8-year-old hand size. So now they're more focused on kids and making sure that it is more accessible for kids. Now all of those are good, but the features, that is very much important and dual sense. Well, they have a lot new features. First, they're actually taking away the share button. Don't worry, it's still there. They are actually replacing that button with a button called create button, also known as a dedicated honk button. Now the create button is basically what the share button does but there are more new features which have not been disclosed by Sony. Now the controller also has this inbuilt microphone which you can use to talk with your friends but Sony themselves are told that if you want to talk longer then it's ideal that you use a headset. But I can already see that a lot of kids will be turning those microphones on and there will be a TV running in the background or parents shouting. It's gonna be horrible for those people who are playing multiplayer games in PlayStation. Now the controller has haptic feedback which was there before as well but they are improving on it and also they have added adaptive triggers to L2 and R2 so that you will feel more tension on the actions you are doing. For example pulling the bow to shoot the arrow you will feel some kind of tension while you are doing that in the, in the triggers. I think that is pretty cool to be honest. Now Xbox Series X doesn't have much new features but they do have a share button which is basically used to share videos or screenshots to Twitter or Facebook or wherever you want to share using that button. It's basically the same as PlayStation controllers. So now PlayStation DualSense has a good size, new features, what about power? Now DualSense is a wireless controller with a rechargeable battery and it has a USB-C type which is the best USB out there and they have also told that they have to thoughtful consideration to maintain battery life. I mean the battery just drains very quickly in PS4 controller so for them having this consideration is really good for all PlayStation players. Now going to Xbox Series X controller well they are working on AA batteries or any rechargeable AA batteries. It's, it's weird because we are in 2020 now and they should be using internal batteries that is rechargeable but apparently they still want to go with the AA battery route. 
one thing that Xbox Series X controller is doing is backward compatibility. So you can use Xbox Series X controller in Xbox One X or Xbox One. And another thing is forward compatibility. That means you can use Xbox One X controller and use it in Xbox Series X console. I wish Sony can do that as well. I mean, I would love to buy the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller and use it on PS4. I mean, I won't be able to afford PlayStation 5, but I might be able to afford the controller. So overall, I think PS5 DualSense controller looks good in my opinion. It has a new look, it's more comfortable, aesthetically it looks great. But then again, it also depends upon players how they feel when they get to use the DualSense controller. Which nobody knows when they're coming out because neither Sony or Microsoft has announced when their consoles are releasing. So what do you think about DualSense controller? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments below and also hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, you can also dislike. I will just be heartbroken but it's fine. And also remember to smash that subscribe button because we got more new awesome videos coming up. Follow us on all social media platforms and join Gamer Connect community if you haven't already. We got so many gamers ready to play with you, discuss about games, so much more. It's fun. It's absolutely fun. I bought my PlayStation for like a couple of months ago, so I'm very new to PlayStation anyways. So I have to play some cool games that is laying right in front of me and I haven't even touched them. So it's time to play some games.